lover from Castalia is working to keep the food chain intact. Tucked away on 30 acres of land sits back to the wild an animal rehab and education center. And as Fox Toledo's Jennifer Steck tells us, there is more to this center than just injured animals, Jen. Well, that's right. Over the past two decades, Mona Rucker has rescued almost 40,000 animals. 25,000 of those have been released back into the wild. But she says her rehab center is both a labor of love and a necessity. It's not exactly lions and tigers and bears, but bald eagles and owls and bobcats, yes. The Back to the Wild Rehabilitation and Education Center located in Castalia was started back in 1991 by animal lover Mona Rutger. 90% of the animals are human-related injuries, you know, fishing line and plastic rings and twine and netting and oil. So we found out immediately it was a huge opportunity to educate the public about the natural world and, and that we all need to be responsible caretakers, you know, and, and stewards of the environment. 2,500 injured or orphan animals are taken in and cared for by Mona and her staff every year. From bald eagles learning to fly again before heading back into the wild to other animals that are permanent residents. Mona says the center serves as a force that keeps the food chain intact. If the hawk eats a snake who ate a frog who ate poisoned insects, every link in that food chain is affected. And if you break a link in a chain around your neck, it, it fall, the whole chain falls apart. And uh, we are at the top of that food chain. So it's very important. Federal and local permits are required for the center, but no federal or local funding are provided. Back to the Wild is a nonprofit and relies solely on the donations and, at times, Mona's retirement fund. But she wouldn't have it any other way. We are under very strict regulations and inspected and, you know, monitored, but we need the support of the community. We need, we need corporate help. We're, we're in, I mean, this center is costing us between two hundred and fifty and 300000 a year, and that's all on private donations. So, but it is definitely a labor of love. Well, Mona told me she gets nearly 70 phone calls a day from people asking for help and people pulling up to her property all hours of the day says a lot of the animals she has taken in could be avoided if people just simply stop raising wild animals. Reporting tonight, Jennifer Steck, Fox Toledo News.